You're full of junk. Design, something, something swank. Swank makes some nice stuff. Ooh, ooh. kind of excited about what this might be. Hey, 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 this trip's looking up already. Okay, you ready? And if you're wondering, why, Jack, why won't you take that home? Well, I kind of like being married. <laughs> so, you see how the rats have chewed it and actually pulled some of the stuffing out. Hello, Mr. Rat. I don't mean to disturb you, but just want to let you know we're coming in. Ornament. Made in Japan. Wow. Okay. They were so into Beanie Babies. It was crazy. All right. Back at the nut house. We got these boxes. It's marked sterling. So I think this is all sterling silver pieces right here. A little sterling chain. 1920. Very old coin. Here's another one that is marked sterling on the inside. What's up, Logger Nuts? All right, we are back at the unit. I know every one of these videos is starting out the same, but I keep coming back here. Different day, different story, same locker. This time, we're gonna be getting some stuff out to go to the dump. I got my truck, so you're gonna see me doing a lot of loading, but you know what? This is what they don't show you on the television show, and this is a big part of the reality of buying lockers. A lot of work to do today, not a lot of time. Let's get started. like I left it full of junk all right there's a little bit of trash here and that's what we're gonna get out I'm gonna throw it on the truck and then tomorrow morning to the dump it goes all right let's get started this time I brought a hand truck to get some furniture out not that much furniture because I have this little tiny truck bed but we'll get a few big pieces out one of the things I love about this Honda truck, and I do love this Honda truck, is this right here, this uh, trunk. If you guys haven't seen this before, such a genius, genius uh, part of the design of this truck. So you can fit a lot of stuff in here. You see I put, I got a dolly, I got some extra straps, just a few supplies and stuff. One of the things really neat, you see back there, well there's a drain, there's a drain plug. The drain's in here somewhere. You could actually fill this with ice and use the truck bed as your cooler. Pop the drain, water goes out. So smart, so useful. But for me, the best part is that it locks, see? So if I go somewhere with like um, something expensive or if I find guns in the unit, they go in here or if I bring my my laptop along it goes in here boom locked with the automatic lock control so so useful I love that part it's one of my favorite things about this truck although there are many all right look at that how's that in it for an angle I got it on the back of the door and look at this guys there's a site you don't see every day gloves that sticking off the back just a little bit actually it's not bad at all now I gotta fill this right here yeah it's going good all right so check that out I got that one up there that was a little difficult that one's heavy as well I didn't film it but 
it would have been a long film because I didn't get it up there very quickly. And just to let you guys know, the reason why I'm chucking these couches, I would love to just put them for free and let someone get them. This right here, that's not the only spot either, but you see how the rats have chewed it and actually pulled some of the stuffing out. Plus, these weren't covered, so they are, well, let's just say they are lived on and not by humans, right? By the uh, new occupants of this <laughs> unit, which were rats. They are contaminated and obviously damaged yeah they could fix it but they're just not high quality to begin with so i'm not going to keep it in here waiting for someone to come pick it up for free i don't know it'd have to be full disclosure i wouldn't put that on somebody without letting them know and i can't imagine someone taking it knowing that there's rats but hey i just want to mention this piece right here this is nice this is nice wood's obviously a lot easier to clean you just wipe it down with some lysol you know get it nice and disinfected it's a nice piece it's in great shape it's solid oak it's been on facebook marketplace offer up craigslist next door everywhere for about a week now for free and uh, no one's come and gotten it I, one person says, is it available it's like yes and then that's the last you hear from them another guy's trying to solicit me for hauling services quoting me 169 dollars to take this away the guy's nuts and he told me that was 30 dollars off it's like <clears throat> no thank you all right look, look in here it looks a little different right here's where the couch was i've kind of redecorated the place the mattress the other chair right here so now i'm grabbing boxes from up there Let's start with this one right here. Lampshade and lamp does not sound too interesting to me, but you know what? We open them all. We don't judge. We just open and see. And this is light, so yeah. They're not even in good condition. Like creases, dent, dents, not a big deal, but creases kind of stink. But the discoloration, I think, means it needs to be retired. Let's see if there's any goodies hiding. Because there have been with the lamps. <laughs> uh, I wish I had a ladder. I'd get up there and replace some of these bulbs. There's the lamp. All right. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Shake the rat turds off. Okay, this is kind of interesting because it says Toys Camp. That sounds a little better. Uh, well, we got some junk mail and some interesting boxes in. Let's start with this right here. Design. Something, something swank. Swank makes some nice stuff. Ooh, ooh. This looks interesting, doesn't it? Man. Okay, one thing I noticed, you guys. These GoPros, for whatever reason, they are terrible at detail. Ooh, look at this. Penny cufflinks. That's pretty tight. Terrible detail on the smalls. Okay, I know. I know. So, how about this? Let's bring this home and go through it at home. Take a closer look. I see some little pins and stuff. This is good. That's a good box right there. Oh, and that makes me kind of excited about what this might be. Hey, 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 this trip's looking up already. Okay, you ready? Okay, this looks really good. Oh boy, you guys. <laughs> you know when I get quiet, that means it's good. Potentially good, I should say. Potentially good. Cotton something. Do you see this? This looks pretty interesting. I don't see anything that looks gold, but I see potential gold. Doubtful, but potential. Definitely could be some silver in here. That looks like it might be some silver. Okay, let's take that home to you. All right, we'll take those home. Go through it there. Nothing good in here. Still, still. So surprising. Back to the dark, back recesses of the locker. We're grabbing this one. This is movies. Shake the rat turds. <laughs> what do we got? Hmm. Okay. Oh, no, more junk now. No, empty. Oh, jeez. That would have been nice. A little trackpad. Oh, that's good though. Look at that. Sticky notes. We use that in our live auction. You guys don't know what I mean by live auction. Well, I do this little commercial just about every time. Uh, we do a live auction on our YouTube channel called Locker Nuts, in case you were wondering. It's called Locker Nuts, but only on YouTube, not on Facebook. Uh, we do a live auction, and that live auction is where you can buy some of the great stuff that we find in these storage lockers. Not like junk mail. All right, a little better than that, okay? We won't disappoint, really. Come check it out if you've never been before it is a lot of fun it really is a lot of fun a lot of fun it's where we sell most of the good stuff the good stuff 
Um, VHS tapes, probably not. Not unless they're like Disney or something real special. A lot of Beanie Babies have been sold in our live auctions over the last few weeks. That's for sure. Really? If you guys are watching this video uh, much later, today is March 17th of 2021. Just to give you a little reference. So I know a lot of people watch this later on. A little electric pencil sharpener will donate that. Stuff doesn't last very long because I don't have a place to store very much. When we find it, we sell it. <laughs> Jeez, such random stuff. I see something a little better down there. See that car? Check that out in a second. All right, National Training Fund, huh? A little calculator, vintage. Is this uh, all right it's nothing too special i don't think teleflora gift i think this comes with like flowers or something we found another item that said ftd on it that's a vintage ornament i mean japan wow okay so you know that's something we will put aside vintage stuff we'll put aside and make a nice lot meaning a lot of items and put that in the uh, auction this guy also looks vintage we'll probably hang on to him a little bit see if there's a collector market for it here's another bear hi i am the all-american bear yeah here's another one of those guys made in japan those are cool huh? okay well here's a walt disney old yeller hmm oh beauty and the beast nice star wars Trilogy, Caddyshack, awesome movie. Oh, whoa, that is a brand new seal. Yeah, they had a good taste in movies. Smoking the Bandit, heck yeah. City Slickers, Hilarious Grease. Jenna and the girls would love that, but we'll have VHS player. This stuff will mostly all get uh, donated. That's one way to get it down. Yeah. Okay, what do we got here? It said laundry or garage or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness, you see all that rat poop in there? It looks like a neat boy here too. Not that neat. Not neat enough. Some of this stuff is going to be a complete loss here again. I just don't. I don't want to. Oh man, some old Coca Cola in there. That's neat, but it's really gross. And yes, it can be cleaned, but no, I don't want to do that. Because that's nasty. It's not going to my house, I'll tell you that much. It's not going home with me. And if you're wondering, why, Jack? Why won't you take that home? Well, I kind of like being married. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll bring that kind of stuff home. Jenna might reconsider, and I wouldn't blame her. All right, let's see what we got. It's a light box. Uh, I don't have high hopes. So we got some bedding. 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 Mo bedding. Mo bedding. And nope, there's no jewelry box at the bottom. As highly unlikely as that was. You know, I'm always hoping. All right, I know it's dark in here, but can you see that right there? <laughs> the rats got in that one. They chewed right into it. What'd you do if one just poked his head out right now? He'd be so mad, wrecking his home. Could have been his dream home. Could have saved up all his life to buy this one. Hello, Mr. Rat. I don't mean to disturb you, but just want to let you know we're coming in. To let you know weird this one actually smells good like uh, like laundry detergent that's what it smells like oh <laughs> look at that <laughs> Japan's new exclusive beanie babies they were so into beanie babies it was crazy you know this is something different cap wells Emporium cap wells what do we got oh this looks like princess house no it's something different made in Western Germany hand cut lead crystal Looks like Princess House, but something different. Is that the only thing in there? For reals? All that. This is heavy. What the heck is this? Nubilizer. Is this a CPAP machine? Aerosol delivery? I don't know. Jeez. Looks like that's the right thing. Okay. 
That's it, Pro Neb Ultra. Whatever that is, we're gonna have to look that up. Hmm. Well, that's ironic, isn't it? Do you see that right there? The black hole rodent trap. How about that? Right next to where the, there you get it, but you know, that's another flea market item right there. All right, look at that. Limited treasures. I don't think that's a Beanie Baby, but it looks like it's a knockoff Beanie Baby. 1998 Potpourri Simmering Set. Oh, look at this. Sewing chest. It's got a whole bunch of sewing patterns. Ooh, a little bit extra too. Eh, not really. Some ribbons. That's a good one. We, we have a sewing lot that's like half full. We'll add that to it. Ooh, this is a little box right here. Maybe that. Ooh. A bunch of soaps in there, but Disneyland Resort Hotels 2000 special ornament. That's cool. And what's this? Look at this. All matchbooks. Whole bunch of them in there. I see Disneyland. I see Harrah's. There's a whole bunch of matchbooks. That's cool. We uh, we do sell matchbooks. There's a collector market for that too. There's a collector market for just about everything. Hey, look at this fishing. The art of casting, trolling, jigging, or spinning while freezing, sweating, swatting, and swearing. Whoa. Oh. 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 This is Princess House here. I know I found another piece of Princess House. And there's another one. Alright. Just a little vase. Nothing special. Just put like a flower or two in there. Okay. Now, this bag here. This is a bunch of uh, fishing stuff. That's what it is. Look, got a whole bunch. Of, ooh, gotta be careful though. Got some hooks in there. That's what it is. A whole bunch of fishing hooks and a ton of weights right there. That's good because I have a, uh, I have some fishing lots. We'll add that to it. Very nice. Okay, you guys. I know that was super fast. This is a short video today. I didn't have a lot of time. Again, I get here too late. I need to get here earlier. Um, but eh, it's a pretty good load. <laughs> This facility closes at 6 p.m., which is really, really inconvenient. Most facilities, public storage, uh, close at like 9 o'clock. So um, 6 p.m. is definitely an early close, and they do that specifically because they had tr problems with break-ins. This one, for example, got broken into, which is why it went back up for auction. You probably know the story by now because I said it lots of times when we first started this series. But 6 p.m., so um, I got about 15 to 20 minutes to tie this thing down and wrap up here so that's what i'm gonna do but hey the video's not over let's go home and check out that jewelry or those two jewelry boxes see if we got anything good all right back at the nut house we got these boxes let's take a look i wiped them down with some bleach wipes just to sterilize everything and i'm excited all right let's get a little bit closer here and take a look at what we got okay yeah almost looks like it's upside down this box Let's get everything out. I think it's supposed to go like that. All right, a couple little parts here. Nothing too amazing. Okay, the first thing we'll do is we'll use this magnet to kind of identify anything that's magnetic. That will rule it out as being precious, but like this sticks to it here. A couple of really nice cufflinks, beautiful pieces. Little tie clip there. Oh, matching cufflinks. These are neat. Look at that. Pennies for cufflinks. 1981 on those. So not not too old, but still very interesting. Look at these right here. They don't stick to the magnet. And there's something on the back of them. See that? I just can't read it. Look at this. A cross, a crucifix bent into a ring this is a 10k gold filled pen right here a little gold filled a couple more cufflinks right here and these are swank those are made by swank right there those are cool a couple more cufflinks made by swank there's a nice tie clip also swank oh, i didn't notice look at that some little gems on there it's another tie clip by Swank. Look at this Merchant Marine pin. See that? I don't see any markings on it, but it looks like it could be silver. A couple little pendants here to go with, I think, I don't know, rosaries or something? A 
1941 penny right here. Another penny, 1956. I'm not sure what these are. These little crosses, see that? What are those? Looks like a Boy Scout Fleur de Lis. I'm not sure what that is either. Some interesting stuff here. We'll lot these things up and put them in a nice lot in one of our live auctions coming up. This piece is Italy, but at least here you can see them like really close up and uh, clearly. It goes kind of quick in our auction. So we'll type in. Okay, then we got this little bag of pins right here. There's another one of those, similar to the other one we have. Order of Railway Conductors. Brotherhood of the Sea. That's interesting, this piece moves right there. And look at this, it's a screw back right here. That screws on, that's interesting. Five years, Flint Coat. Flint Coat. There's a moose head. <laughs> Another screw back one. I put them on here, starting to get some trays ready for our auction coming up. That's how we'll sell this stuff. A whole tray load at a time. But let's get to this box here. Let's see what else we got. Oh yeah, a little bit more stuff in here. Yeah, all right. Let me pull this stuff out like I did the other, and we'll work through it. difficult to get out so I just dumped it out and this is what we got we got quite a bit of stuff here we got some potential too it is all tangled up though it's gonna take me a few to get untangled here let me keep working on it all right guys check it out okay I got everything laid out here nicely a lot of the earrings and stuff are made it up that's a lot of stuff it looks like more stuff when it's laid out like this let's take a closer look at a few of the pieces there's a lot of stuff here that's just not that interesting there's a few pieces that are in Really poor condition, like these, they're not in the greatest condition. There's a little stack over there, just what's just straight up garbage or broken stuff. But there are a few pieces in here that are pretty interesting. Let me point out a few. All right, they have a, a few more religious, uh, you know, Catholic type stuff. This piece right here, though, I think is really interesting. It's got that real bright bluish color on there. On the back here, though, it says made in Brazil. Sure, it looks like silver on here, but I don't see any markings. 925 or sterling. That's kind of a neat pendant right there. This came in this little pouch right here. It's another little, I think, Catholic figure. Uh, it's magnetic, so I'm not sure what it is. It's not precious, but they kept it in that little pouch. There's a few pins. This one, I don't know what it is about it. It just looks real interesting to me. Pirate ship. It definitely looks older. I mean, just the way this little hook goes in there to me makes it seem like that's a little bit older piece that's interesting here's a little charm bracelet almost reminds me of like monopoly pieces on there this piece right here is pretty it's a necklace i couldn't find any markings on it to suggest that it's 925 i also couldn't find any maker mark for if it's a you know nicer costume jewelry but it is pretty there's the clasp there found another rosary we found a few of those now. This piece almost looks like a rosary, but I uh, don't think that qualifies as a rosary. But these pieces, it does, like this one says, I am a Catholic. In case of an emergency, please call a priest. It's marked sterling. So I think this is all sterling silver pieces right here, a little sterling chain. That's nice. This right here is um, a bracelet with a bunch of coins on it they're foreign currency all sorts of different places here south africa 1956 on this piece here united states of mexicanos 1961 it's neat stuff all right so we got all that and then i found a few more coins this i'm not sure if it's a coin it's just flat 
um, but these are all drilled out and were connected to something. This right here looks like silver. It says Italia, and on the back, 1920. Very old coin. It's neat. It's actually too bad they drilled it, but they were using it for some sort of jewelry or something. Look at this little tiny piece right here. And on the back it just says silver. <laughs> this right here is a little locket. That's neat. It looks like it says 12K, which is an odd number. It looks like it's more like gold film, but that's what it says, 12K. I'm not sure what else it says on there. This seems like it's gold filmed. This little bracelet right here. That one it says 12K GF, gold film. It's another little locket right here, but this one doesn't say anything. This piece right here is probably one of my favorites. I love the way it looks. I couldn't find any markings on here to confirm it's silver, but it looks like it's silver. Um, I was hoping to maybe find some Native American uh, artist mark on it, but no such luck. It's a nice looking ring right here. No markings on this either. And it does not stick to the magnet. This one right here is Mark Sterling, no surprise. Definitely looks sterling, that's a cool looking ring. Here's another one that is Mark Sterling on the inside. This one, unfortunately, see that right there? It's got a gash through it. There's another little Catholic saint or something. And this is a sterling silver ring. It's just really too bad it got marred right there because I think it does ruin it. It's a nice little ring though. All right, guys, well, I'm not going to go through the other stuff. I don't think there's anything, like, exceptionally, exceptionally interesting. There's a lot of vintage pieces here. These earrings are pretty cool. I mean, there's there's neat stuff here. This, I think, is faux turquoise there. So, but still, vintage stuff. Definitely vintage stuff. This is the Ten Commandments right here. But I don't think it's anything special. It's plated, whatever it is. Plating came off right there, so these types of pieces like this probably won't even make the auction unless it goes in a big jewelry bag. But um, you know, like that stuff over there, that's not even going go in the jewelry bag. So, but there's there's some good stuff here. Definitely, you'll see some of the stuff in our auctions. Like this is a neat piece, and the coins. Um, this will make our live auction. So make sure you guys are there if you see anything here that you'd like to purchase. All right, it's been a while since I had some jewelry boxes like that to go through. It is fun. It is fun. Uh, I like that part. I wish there was a little bit more gold and silver, though. Not too much gold in this one. Actually, no gold on the table here, unless that 12K is not gold-filled, and that's a little bit of gold. But we have found a little bit of gold in the locker, just a few hundred dollars worth, but still, it gives me a gives me a little jolt when I find it. But this kind of stuff does, um, it does excite me still. It's, it's neat. I like the old stuff. I like stuff that has history, and I like stuff that is, you know, a little bit more rare to find. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be back at that locker before you know it. Back for more. We have some auctions coming up here. I got to finish this locker so we can get on to the next one. Um, we will. We will. All right, but the next one will be out soon. Thank you guys for watching. Until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Loganuts. What do we got here? Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Jeez, you see that? I mean, I was like, first I'm like, oh, come on. There's nothing in here. I'm missing the good half. <laughs>